Uh, here's another story that's just unbelievable. Mark in here has a story by D. Tyler Durden. It's from Zero Hedge and it's uh, Chicago Mayor signs executive order allowing legal immigrants access to virus relief funds. How and why? Like, again, these people need to. Okay, I think she was elected last year. And as you can see, yes, it, it's a woman. At, at first, I was confused. And it's another joke. I was confused a couple of times myself. Okay, I was unsure. But the, the citizens, quote unquote, elected, elected it. Whatever that is. Elected her. Sorry. Her. Politically correct. Yeah. So, and sometimes you get what you deserve. You absolutely get what you deserve. Like people who vote for like communist ideals, when it comes, they're not capable of responsibility. So what they'll do is just blame everybody else but themselves. Just sit back and smile. You know? See, even though people who, who okay, so people who don't want like communism, they vote against it. But they'll still be, be more prepared than the people who voted for it. Because <laughs> people who voted for it don't understand. They don't. They're incapable. That's why you see um, uh, women tend to vote more communist and socialist, you know, more government intervention. It's just they don't understand what they're doing. Okay, they don't. Okay, seventy percent, eighty percent tops. Okay, they don't understand exactly what they're doing. You know, again, um, women need men for logic. That that that's part of the the dynamics between the male female relationship. If um, if, if females don't have men. They'll run to the government, and the government will always betray them. <laughs> always. Anyway, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot uh, issued an executive order on April 7th to allow illegal immigrants and refugees, regardless of birth of country citizenship, to access relief funds amid the uh, CCP uh, pandemic. Real great name. Um, the order said it was ensure that all Chicagoans... Uh, fair and access to benefits. No, no, you have to give this to the citizens. Do not give it to illegals. Do not give it to criminals. It just doesn't make sense. Now, I, I, some of these people are taking advantage of um, letting criminals out of the um, of the uh, jail cells. I can see that they don't want uh, it to spread, but then I can then it's. So I'm thinking a lot of them trying to take an advantage to lessen the prison population artificially. You know, don't be surprised in the year they'll try to push something about um, social justice has helped lower the prison population. Don't be surprised if they try to spend that positive, you know. It's never positive. Almost all prisoners are repeat offenders and they're there for a reason. If you let them out, they'll commit the crimes again and again and again, okay? Anyway, people in Chicago elected this insane thing. Uh, the person, woman, if you call it that. You know, anyway, illegal immigrants who have no illegal status in the United States or who do not meet the criteria for state unemployment insurance or other income assistance, all stimulus checks, is sending out all registered taxpayers prior to the two trillion, blah, blah, blah. Carson March, according to the National Review, at least 20, uh, 280,000 legal immigrants were working in Illinois in 2018 based on the WBEZ analysis of census data. They're mostly concentrated around the sanctuary city of Chicago. All right, and Chicago is a hellhole. All right, under the new order, the legal immigrants will be able to receive benefits through Chicago's housing assistance grant program. <sighs> Students will also be offered online enrichment learning resources through Chicago public schools. And small businesses will have access to a hundred million Chicago Small Business Resiliency Fund. Okay, that I agree with there. The hundred million, not the uh, enrichment learning resource, whatever that is. It really sounds like it sounds like a euphemism for something really terrible. <laughs> enrichment learning. I don't know. Judging from the scores of Chicago students, I don't know. It's it's there's nothing enriching about the Chicago school system. Ah. Uh, Okay, this is all BS here. Chicago North and the stay at home order. BS. BS. Alright, so according to the latest figures published on the official Chicago, uh, Chicago website, 5,511 cases of the virus been confirmed and 13,000 in Illinois. So again, high 
population concentration in Chicago, hence the higher cases. And uh, that's it. So it's another one of these damning stories that is just like mind-boggling how a lot of these um, these <laughs> these large city mayors they're simply betraying citizens in my in my mind by giving uh, funds to people who are legal who have committed crimes. You know, it's 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 mind-boggling. It's where we're headed. And the people of Chicago, not all of them deserve this, but damn, a lot of them voted for this this person. <laughs> you know, and it's... I feel sorry, you know. I feel sorry. Like, in New York, what happened is, like... New York was Democratic run for a long time. It was terrible. Then they finally um, elected Rudy Giuliani, I think, in the mid-90s. And then he completely turned the city around. got tough on crime. And now that the city is safe, they elected... Um, uh, to uh, Bloomberg was actually a Republican, but they elected um, the Blasio, who's basically raising the crime rates. The city's uh, the city's continuing decline. Um, law enforcement is being sped at, punched, shoved, and this will eventually lead to the to to the to the reaction of people who want an authoritarian figure. Okay, Rudy Giuliani wasn't an authority or authoritarian figure, but he was har- he was harsh on crime, and that's what you want. Because criminals are criminals for a reason. They usually low IQs. You knew who they are. You knew what neighborhood to come from. They know the who raised them. You know the stuff. You know, and it's just Chicago is going to be had the same way, hopefully. But you know, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. All right, I'm not a uh, I'm not a fortune teller. All right, guys, take care. Share, save, subscribe. Um, again, if you vote for these people, you deserve what you get. Um, you know. Anyway, thumbs up and uh, stick around. I'll do a few more stories. Bye.